cool suggestion. So what's the what's the last thing you were really passionate about learning? Like you went really deep into Wikipedia searching and searching, you found all the cool facts. Shout out. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Sea cucumber. That's a good one. I like dinosaurs. <laughs> Um, all right, for big, let's think. Um, last time you read a picture book, who was the main character? Like a kid's book. Winnie the kind Pooh. Of, <laughs> I like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to two-step for this. Think of what that makes him think of. Um, lastly, for Tori, uh, what's a sport you'd never, ever want to play or even see? Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> Cricket. Okay, what's your suggestion? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. What's yours? Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> What's yours? Cricket. Cricket. <coughs> All right. Players, are you ready? Yes. yes. Audience, are you ready? Yes. yes. Good night, everybody. It's us, those recurring characters from those weird dreams you have. <laughs> We're the manifestation of your subconscious, here to answer all of your weird questions that you're too afraid to ask when you're awake. <laughs> Let's introduce ourselves, even though it's recurring. I'm the exterminator. Josh. <laughs> I'm a recently evicted drone bee. As in, I'm a male bee and, you know, I get evicted when the winter comes, so... <laughs> I've just recently had that, so I'm gonna freeze to death. <laughs> Howdy y'all, I'm Colonel Sanders, here with new Nashville Hot Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Don't ask me, it's your dream. Okay, guys. Well, it's time, it's that time again. Let's get some questions here from the audience. Wow, no questions tonight. You are all feeling, oh yes, you. Um, how do I kill my player, or my player characters in my D&D campaign? Oh, this DM has some characters that she wants killed. How to do it. Well, I'm an expert on killing bugs, so <laughs> if they're bugs, I, I got you. You just, just call me in, just call in Josh. I, <laughs> just, just give him a good old spray. First of all, very insensitive considering my current circumstances. <laughs> my mother and all of my sisters are trying to kill me by locking me out of the hive when it's about to be cold! And then really pretty useless. <laughs> Well, now, darling, if I've learned one thing, can't smile without this year, Nashville hot tickets. <laughs> 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 Exterminator, me being a bee, and him being exterminator. Now I'm cold. Now I have an angry old man on the other side of me. <laughs> also, if you want to know where the best chicken is, you have to get up and like do a dance and like you spin a certain amount of time to denote the direction relative to the sun and then also the length of the dance. So you dance longer to denote the distance. I'm very cold. <laughs> If you're really cold, I can uh, heat you up with some nice sizzling spray. <laughs> <laughs> well now, <laughs> what I did there was a marketing poll. I said, best, best chicken on this side of the river. What you don't know, 
Salsa bitch chicken on the other side of it. <laughs> we got our Georgia Gold chicken. So sweet, so crispy, mm, can't get enough of it. Isn't that neighbor's honey? It is. <laughs> <laughs> and she's <supports> bees. <laughs> Something black, maybe with a name tag. Uh, not Josh, though. I, I already, I already had that taken. Maybe Andrew. Does that sound good to you? Try Jordan. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. <laughs> It is warmer. <laughs> wear something yellow. Also, more important than what you wear is how you smell. Because they could decide whether or not to let you in based solely on your smell, which is what bees do. So, just wear a good perfume. But not perfume around bees, though. It's really bad. You could die, actually. <laughs> Alright, Tony. Remember one thing. The best thing how a man can wear a clean white suit, red undershirt, White tie, get that mustache looking real nice, greased up, and you're ready to go. <laughs> go sell them some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear the iPhone alarm going off. And that's Gavin. Yeah. <laughs>
so as I was saying, oh, it's kind of comfortable. <laughs> the crime that I'm going to punish you with is arson. <laughs> Wait, how does, I don't understand how that works. Yeah, we're going to need 12 of the small ones, three of the blue ones, and four of the uh, rainbow ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here too. I went down the slide at the very beginning of the scene. <laughs> I'm <going> down again. <laughs> you tripped on me, who was also laying here. <laughs> now there's two of us. <laughs> oh my God, Harley! Did you let another child fall? <laughs>
Can I interest you in perhaps our mini chopper? Let's go for regular slices of loaf bread. Can I give it a shot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Meanwhile, at the headquarters of the Texas mob, like as monsters, but Texas. Grimes <laughs> 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 doing real good there, Jethro. <laughs> Austin's all ours. <laughs> I mean, it's spelled the same way, but you tell him, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly my thoughts. <laughs> you know what I mean? mm -hmm. This turf war is going to get taken. Oh my god. Hey guys, I'm from Austin, Texas. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> at the dump. <laughs> someone throw away this end piece of bread. Blind <laughs> Joe, look, someone throw away this piece of bread. We can't forget it tonight. Oh my god. We can use that with the caviar and lobster. Yes! We can eat it and use for that. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad we decided to live yeah. with the dumb. <laughs> I thought we were going to starve. Me too! Hey, do I get out of saying this? I don't like to be eaten. Well, we're hungry. We are bread. So, it's kind of your job. Yeah. I think that's fair. <laughs> well, in a parallel universe, we even hear the sign. <laughs>
Death Trigger. Death Trigger is a hidden knowledge game that four people up here will be playing. Let's get those people to stand up. Cameron, Jacob, Evan, and Tori. And we are going to exile them out of the room because they can't know what we're about to have going down here. Will somebody exit with them? Alright, so to play Death Trigger. <laughs>
Debt. Thank <laughs> you. 
I was walking with the in the snow yeah, No, I, I was trying to be the comedy, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm the funny one, you said, right? This, this, I, I'm talking. You got the picture. I'm trying to do my shots here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, you gotta hold on tight. This dragon's kind of, he likes to whip up and down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna go save that princess. Okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna pull the reins to the left. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. <laughs> nice hold on, it just it reached the carrot on the stick. Oh, no. <laughs> go down, go down. <laughs> around doing nothing and we're supposed to arrest you for that too. <laughs> Loitering is a victimless crime. I'm gonna need to have you keep your hands back there or I'm gonna call backup. <laughs> I'm gonna call backup. Back Are they gonna join me in the back seat? <laughs> yeah, that's why we call them backup. Oh god. <laughs> Let me out of here! Call backup! Hey backup, we need some coffee. <laughs> All the way to the fine art exhibit, are we? <laughs> and our classical 1925 Lincoln with three wheel transmission. Fine, the finest clean wheel I've seen in a while. Good such mm. oh, I appreciate your mustaches. The finest of mm, mustaches. Would you like <laughs> three Cubans? <gasps> I love a Cuban. Do you want a Cuban? I would love a Cuban. Play. It's all smoke us to dust. Let's keep the windows rolled up too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we're almost at the fine art exhibit. Lovely, lovely. Just park inside, they won't mind. <laughs> oh, good work. Thank you. I like that one's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dominance hierarchy. 
It's not a phase. All right, sure. Well, uh, today on the podcast with one viewer, uh, we're going to talk about one of our favorite movies from our childhood, Chair Murder. Yeah. Yeah. All the other movies have been reviewed already, so we're left with this, like, B-movie from 1978. Very close to Star Wars. You, want to but, <laughs> you can't compare. Art like this doesn't exist before. Or since. <laughs> well, you know, it all started when a man was dead. He could make a movie for under a thousand dollars. And, uh, well, he did. So, let's go ahead and see the first shot where it's just a really long establishing shot. Talking to each other. Just a little bit. <laughs> Play. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I am Four Walker. Hero. Bethany. This is crazy. And you said the dance. Yeah, the dance. <laughs> Wrong. Pause. Okay, so we have Jim, Luke, Beth, and Harold. Good name. And then <laughs> yeah, sure. I've been thinking about Harry actually, but okay. We're gonna fast forward on it. It's gonna take about twenty minutes for anything in this movie to happen. Okay, fast forward. Let's go a little faster. A little faster. Okay, play. This is the interesting part. I'm a crow by like saving your relationship. Not a trouble, okay? Tell me about Thor. That's what I said. is great and all, but I can't sit on it. <laughs> what? Yeah, we can use a carpet. We can use a carpet. We can use a carpet, but then I would still be on the floor. Pause. So you see, actually, it's a fun trivia fact about this movie. When the one that just sat down, he sat down in the liquid lightsaber that just broke, and like for the rest of the movie, you can kind of see the, the his, he slowly turns the color of the lightsaber. <laughs> but like it happens really slow and they kind of don't acknowledge it because it happened in real life. <laughs> Let's just go to the next scene, okay? Um, this is when you first start to see them kind of acknowledge that he might be dying. <laughs> well, yeah, but first we gotta, you know, set up the murderers. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, good point. Yeah, so, so the murderer, he's wearing like a big old, big old parka. <laughs> but only the park button doesn't have pants on. <laughs> it makes the whole thing very awkward. Well, let's just play. It's very organic. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Chair murder guy didn't actually speak a language. <laughs> they actually had like a mini, like just a smaller human provide like a, an interpreter. Interpreter, see? And they just stood next to him and just said everything that he he, he meant to say. Yeah, but luckily the guy was really short, so you can... <laughs> he's kind of barely in the most shot. You sometimes see yeah. the top of his head. I think he's what, 5'11"? I don't know, you can't see the screen. Play. I think I'd like to try that fudge sundae you have. <laughs> okay, I can help you with that right away. Wow, this is really good. Can you make me some more? <laughs> I would love to. But it looks like it's getting close to 6 o'clock. Pause. The murderer is one of those guys that shows up ten minutes before closing. <laughs> <laughs> Just a spoiler, he's not gonna leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> oh, sorry. But it looks like it's getting close to six o'clock. Oh, so I think I have to pause. Let's go to the next scene. Next picture. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a new store. But this time, in this part of the movie, they decided they actually wanted to include a soundtrack, which is provided by the other actors that aren't in the scene. <laughs> so yeah. it's like a kind of really eerie but weirdly calling soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, we could talk about it for a while, or we could listen. Play. <laughs> <laughs> you work here, 
I was actually looking at your green on the green amount of really useful for sitting not on the floor. <laughs> 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 So I was thinking purple this time because I've already had green, I've had blue, I think I have white in that time. So <laughs> Let me get it for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, I know that I previously said this was a podcast, but I hope everybody remembers the red and blue glasses. This is a 1978 3D movie. This part really just jumps out at you. Like, really just, it, it's hopping at you like a kangaroo. Literally. And it hops into death. Let's just watch Blaine. Yeah, I'm so mad. Wow. That's the chair. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, it's time for the finale. Let's see if you my favorite part of the scene. You see the lightsaber guy, see? Yeah. Okay. The lightsaber the fans. Yeah, but you know my favorite part about this? Since it was released in Bollywood, <laughs> this is like a really elaborate dance number. <laughs> <laughs> Kids love <laughs> It's not you, girl. It's me. I just found a new blueberry. <laughs> Babe, it's not you. It is you. It's 
It's both of us, honestly. <coughs> I thought you were special, but you're just K. <laughs> it's not me. It's you. You always pour the milk in first, and I can't put up with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not me. It's you. You get offended at everything. They're just little jokes. I mean, come on, we tease. <laughs> hey, look, it's not you, it's me. I met someone else. We just connect so much better. They're great! Hey, it's not me, it's you. It's just I'm looking for something more mature, and you're busy playing all these pranks. Don't you know tricks are for kids? Hey, <laughs> it's not you. And it's not me either, it's our kid. He's getting in the way. And <laughs> our child, Brian, just raising Brian with you is so hard. <laughs> okay. It's not working out. It's not you. It's not me. Um, it's just kind of like our cereal. Cereal's great and we love it, but we just don't have enough spoons. <laughs> I think we're really milking this category. <laughs> it's not me, babe. I'm sorry, it's you. I just like a little bit more sugar with my plate. Next category. It's a final food category. Let's think of something that isn't food this time. Shout it out! Dairy Farm. products. <laughs> you see, there's some people that may not be food, but Ooh. I eat dairy products. Somebody else, shout it out! Clothes. Trees. Clothes. All right. Clothes. Clothes or clothes? Clothes. Yeah, I was thinking about the It's not me. It's you. You just keep wearing the same flannel armor. It's better. Oh. It's not me, it's you. You, you, the way you just disgust him, you just scarf down all your food. <laughs> Babe, it's, it's not me, it's you. Don't suit me. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. I was hoping for at least one compliment by now, but all you do is tease. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. It became so clear you're wearing the pants in the relationship, and I can't stand it. <laughs> It's it's not you, it's me. I just don't think the shoe fits. Oh. Babe, it's not you, it's me. This was just for fun. I was hoping we could keep it shorts. <laughs> Babe, I know I destroyed your tank top, but you destroyed my sweater, and that's not okay. Oh, the Weezer song. <laughs> Stop me, it's you. Communication is a thing, and you're just never hearing what I have to say. It's not you, it's me. I just don't want to be tied down. Ah. Babe, it's not me, it's you. Shut up, you need to zip it. <laughs> Babe, it's not you, it's not me either. It's actually our neighbor, Gene. <laughs> short, but I agree. I think we should keep it brief. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, feet out now, no more. Yeah, it's not me or you. We've just been doing this for way too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me, it's you. I just don't like you anymore. We're gonna have to give you the boot. Oh. <laughs> Babe, it's not me, it's you. You never cover your nose when you say, a shoes. <laughs> hey, it's not me, it's you. We're through. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're to our last category today. We've done food. We've done clothing. What's something that's not an essential? If you could argue, argue clothing is an essential. I see. Well, it's clothing. Get, do, tell me something that you don't need every day of your life. What's something that you might rarely see? Vacations. Vacations. 
uh, a little bit too broad. Something else that you might not see every day. <laughs> I don't want to don't want to choose that. Some else. <laughs> Resort to this vacation joke. <laughs> Breaking up. It's not you, it's me. I think our relationship just died hard. Oh, I was just oh. gonna <laughs> It's not you, it's me. I've movied on. <laughs> it's not you, it's not me. It's Brian. It was really a close encounter of the third kind. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's not you, and it's not me. We just come to the end of the reel. Uh, <laughs> babe, it's not you. Uh, wait. <laughs> it's not me. It's you. This relationship is just a never ending journey. Three, journey to Salazar. <laughs> um, it's not you. That was so good, I forgot mine. <laughs> it's not me. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> Exactly what you were doing? You were looking at Sally. You spied her, man. Oh. <laughs> Honey, you shrunk the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and when he spied on Sally, that was when Harry met Sally. Oh. <laughs> Babe, it's not you. It's me. Uh, <coughs> I don't feel so good. No. Oh. No. It's not you, it's me. I'm just feeling really Nick caged in. <laughs> it's not me. It's most definitely you. I have a lot of potential for my like employment in my future, and I need to get back to the future. And you need to get back to the future, too. <laughs> Look, I expected this relationship to go well, but... My expectations were subverted. <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's not me, it's you. I'm really sick and tired of you buying me all this stuff I don't need. You gave me 16 candles. <laughs> uh, Adam Sandler, I don't even know her. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. It's just that I've been seeing our wedding singer. Oh. <laughs> Call me Steve McQueen, because this divorce is going to be called The Great Escape. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. I'm just obsessed with this flubber. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. I could tell you ten things I hate about you, but that would just be me. Oh. It's not me, it's you. I mean, you come here on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> kind of you, and it's kind of me, but there's another person involved. It was you, me, and Dupree. <laughs> well, it's not me. It's you. Tell everyone our business. It's like we leave the closed captions on. <laughs> it's not me. It's you. I really didn't want to meet the parents. <laughs> Look, we've known each other for so long. We met at the first Star Wars movie. We've been together with all of them before this last one just... May the voice be with you. <laughs> <laughs>